We have some differences in ideology. That's all. I don't harbor any ill will toward Director Who. If anything, I think she's more wary of me. If possible, I sincerely wish that Director Who would be more sensible about her business practices. Oh, so you haven't forgotten about the time when she was disseminating flyers right outside of Boo Boo Pharmacy. I just wish that she wouldn't be so concerned about Chi-Chi whenever she has nothing better to do. Sounds like you have something against her. It's not that I take issue with Director Who. It's just that every time she kidnaps Chi-Chi, I have to go all the way to the Ministry of Civil Affairs to get someone to sort it all out. It's... quite exhausting. Yes, you've guessed correctly. The preservation of a thread of Chi-Chi's consciousness was, in fact, the work of the Adepti. It's also thanks to Chi-Chi that I managed to come up with a way to save someone on the brink of death. Since the Adepti took pity on this child and even used their arts to keep her on this side of existence, I thought I'd take the opportunity to keep her around the pharmacy. There's no harm in that, is there? Every time she comes to play with Chi-Chi, she complains about the taste of medicine and asks me if I have anything that isn't bitter. <sighs> if the medicine will save someone's life, who cares how bitter it tastes, hmm? If I were to hazard a guess about her health from a face reading, I would presume the Yu Hung's frequent looks of exhaustion are due to her long-time habits of burning the midnight oil and never giving her mind a rest. If she wishes to maintain her health, she should stop working and relax from time to time. Unfortunately, she is overly ambitious and seems to be completely willing to trade her health for her career. Even if I were to tell her this myself, I'm afraid she would not listen to me. Those with the blood of the Adepti have strong constitutions. Even when she is ill or injured, she does not require any medicine to recover. She isn't like your average mortal, who would be left with long-term residual issues if they did not receive medical treatment after a serious injury. Ha, ah, Zhongli. Yes, I can tell he is very knowledgeable. He can carry a conversation even when discussing niche topics like ancient medicine. He must also have some habits and practices for himself when it comes to healthy living. The common headache or fever should pose no problem for him so he doesn't need a prescription from me. Only the most magnanimous soul could labor to preserve life by slaying evil spirits. I was once fortunate enough to see the conqueror of demons with my own eyes. We even brought him back to the pharmacy to take care of him for a day. Unfortunately, I did not know his true identity at the time, and didn't even have a chance to speak with him before he left on his own. But you've seen him since then, haven't you? There's no reason to be upset. Yes, <laughs> you're right. Ah, so you have an acquaintance from the Sumeru Academia. In that case, could I trouble you to introduce me to this Tainari? I have many questions about herbal medicine that I would like to ask him. <laughs>